What's going on YouTube? Good Call 6 here. Uh, I've been meaning to uh, actually make a pickup video uh, the last couple days, but I've been sick over the over, well, I was sick over the weekend. So, uh, planned on making a video of pickups, but didn't get around to it because I wasn't feeling too well. Uh, and then I said the heck with it, I might as well wait for a couple more things to show up uh, before I make a pickup video. But, yesterday in the mail, I got a uh, package, big old brick package. Uh, from my good buddy 24 Nathan Oak. I believe it is my Christmas present in April. Um, uh, I'm just kidding, but uh, I was worried he wasn't going to send it. I'm just playing, but uh, he's he's had some uh, in, be in between moving. Um, I think he said he bought a card for me, and then the seller never shipped it, and kept feeding him lies about what, whether he shipped it or not, uh, and then me outbidding him. So uh, he's kind of had a, a tough time with this package. So uh, it finally showed up, and I'm pretty excited to rip into it. So. Uh, like I said, it's my Christmas present from him uh, in April. So, uh, looks like we've got a bunch of packages in here. So, we will get right into it. <laughs> oh, buddy. Here we go. All numbered, which is pretty neat. So, we've got six packages, and the first one has a cuss word on it. So, <laughs> dear Matt. Fuck you, enjoy the crappy wrapping, and thanks for buying all the cards I was I was going after for you. Hey, no problem, dude. PC's PC, right? Um, whether it's me or you getting it. So, uh, this is number one. At least it's not all wrapped up in duct tape, and it's going to take me 20 minutes to open up each package. So, um, holy buckets, holy buckets, holy buckets. I've never seen this card before. There's a couple in here. Yeah, there's a couple in here. Uh, first up is a... What year is this? Derek Brooks. Uh, Black Refractor out of 2003 Topps Chrome. Really excited that Panini's starting to put more stuff in him. More autos and more patches and whatnot of him uh, in their products. So that's always nice to add is Derek Brooks stuff. Uh, next up. Dirty Bastard. This is already in, in one. And there's still another card to show. Um, I don't think I have this variation. Uh, this one's 34 out of 99. Uh, Mike Evans. <clears throat> nice addition to that. Love the little the designs they put in the back of these. There are a bunch of different ones. I don't know all the different variations. but um, And then this one is freaking awesome. Um, this is actually my first uh, old school um, BGS label. But this is uh, Bowman's best work done. Uh, just the base rookie, but... Except it's the old slab with all the uh, grades on the back, which is pretty sweet. Um, I think he was trying to go after, I think there's an atomic autograph of work done that, were, that was listed. We were, I think we were both going after it, but he said he was, he was looking at it. But the thing went for like way more than I was ever expecting. But um, that is an awesome addition to the work done PC. So that is an awesome start, dude. Those three, those three cards would have been plenty, man. Um, but we have... Five more packages to go. So, um, someone says I had to send it. Best shitty card in your PC. I think that's all the notes. The notes are pretty funny, but those last cards feel graded, so I'm kind of nervous. Um, oh my god, you, you better not have, dude. <laughs> you better not have done it. Um, I I have one of these. I don't. I think it's a, the. I think I have the. The three patch of it, uh, the three three swatch variation. Um, this is Doug Martin. Awesome Dougie out of Museum. This back card better not be what I think it is. Um, 38 out of 50. Awesome, awesome card. I think I have one with the, the logo, the Bucks logo. And then it's just two solid jerseys. So um, I'm really kind of nervous if he sent this card or not. He did. You bastard, dude. I've actually... I've actually try to pick up a couple or one of these I've, there's been two listed in uh standard auction the last in the last month or so that i've tried to go after but i just space out and don't bid on them so um if this is the one that he that he picked up a while ago i've man uh, you fucking bastard dude god this is such a sweet card uh this is josh freeman exquisite four color patch auto kind of a story behind this i don't i don't know if it's the exact one that he picked up or not if it is the exact one i honestly want to just send this back to you uh considering how much he spent on it but um there's two of these popped up on uh this was when he was a starter 
uh, and going, I think, into his second year as a starter. So um, two of these were popped up on eBay. I was going to buy one, and he was going to buy one, but I ended up backing out on it and not buying it. Um, and he ended up buying one as as look as a sort of a, a PC investment or not a PC investment but a, an investment uh, all all together. But um, and it turned out he ended up being a flop and didn't do very good and ended up uh, being in bad shape with the coaching staff. But um, this card is kind of one of my I guess you call it holy grails I guess for the Bucks PC um, the Eleanor's I suppose. Um, the four color patch auto Josh Freeman just the base true rookie card number to 99 I always love this design and I've always wanted to pick one up like I said I haven't I've wanted to and they keep just getting away from me for whether or not just not bidding on them or just oversleeping or not hearing the eBay notification go off so dude thank you so much that is so awesome even if he's not in the league anymore and even if he's not a Buccaneer um, this is like one of my most sought after Josh Freeman cards to pick up and now it is in my PC. So super excited for that card. Can't believe you actually sent me one of these. <clears throat> I said, I hope it's not the one that you bought, but I actually kind of have a feeling it is. So um, now we're on to number three. I love the painter's tape that he used. Love it. It's not, it's not one of the, it's not uh, Dave's One Direction tape, but th this definitely works. Holy buckets. Dude, you sent way too much in this package. Way, way, way too much. Yeah. Now it's looked like I gotta start another rainbow. Um, he knows how much I love the, the tie-dyes out of uh, Prism, and he just hooked me up with one of them. Uh, this is Austin Safarian Jenkins. Tie-dye, number nine out of 15. Which is actually really short printing compared to uh, the Mike Evans. The Mike Evans is 25 and this one's the 15. So, um, super awesome and super excited about that thing. This thing, you probably already looked these over to see if any of them are gradable, but um, if we're just skimming over it, it looks pretty good to me to send in to possibly get graded. So, expecting huge things from him. He's kind of had two down years with injuries and stuff, but hopefully he can actually stay healthy because he'll be a beast when he's healthy. And secondly, yeah, I've wa I've watched so many of these two on face on eBay, and I've just never picked one up. These have popped so much in person too. You bastard, dude! <laughs> All these, this is way, this is too much, man. You, and I still got three more things to go, two of which have probably looked graded. So, um, this is that of this year Spectra. No, yeah, yeah. 2015 Spectra, uh, Mike Evans, green out of 25. So these things really pop in person. I don't, the when you look at them on eBay, they kind of look. I don't know. They don't look very good, but in person, these things pop really, really good to me. Um, I think there's a pink one and then there's a, a blue one um, that I really wanted to pick up. So I'm gonna have to pick those two up now that I got the green one. So um, thank you so much, man. Now on to package four. Uh, Oh, the other thing I wanted to do. Uh, I was going to do it in my last in my video I was going to make this weekend, but like I said, I didn't get around to it. But um, thanks, everyone, for uh, voting for uh, our pizza place. Uh, the voting came out today where we actually ended up uh, – we didn't we didn't win. Uh, I think we won our side of the bracket, so we ended up taking second technically. Um, but the pizza place that won it last year ended up winning it again this year. So uh, all you that took the time to vote, I do appreciate it, and our family appreciates, appreciates it a ton. Dude, this is just like so much awesome PC stuff. If this back card's the one that I'm thinking it is too, I will poop. <laughs> oh, I love I love the look of this card. I was actually searching Rondé Barber cards uh, about a month ago, and this one, this one really popped to me that with the gold on it. Uh, this is out of 2014, totally certified. Fucker. <laughs> Part of my French. I didn't realize this was that short printed. I thought these were the 15. Um, but this is the with the throwback, the throwback Rondé Barber with the gold um, numbered. I don't know if you'll see it, but three out of five. I, I looked at the completed listings of the Rondé Barbers, what sold, and this was one of them. And I was really, really 
bummed because I just this card pops to me so much with the throwback uni and then the gold the gold uh, parallel. So yeah, that is freaking awesome. And this thing, oh, this thing's throwback. This has been one of my one of my sought after cards too for the Bucks PC, um, and he's hooked me up with two of them. Um, I can't believe this. I can't believe that I actually have one of these in my collection now. I'm actually kind of shaking. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like a, it's not a monster card by any means. It was a monster card, um, but these are just I don't know. I don't know if they're tough to come by, um, or I just always miss out on them. But this is a, a Cadillac Williams at a SP Authentic. Uh, the throwback three color patch auto, uh, number two two ninety nine. I wanted one of these in it, during his rookie year, but these were pretty expensive back then. Uh, I've always searched every now and then, but every time I search, I look at completed listings, and I missed them by a few days. So, I actually have a, a saved search for this uh, Cadillac Williams uh, SP Authentic, uh, in hopes that one of these pop up in standard auctions so I can snag it. But, <clears throat> dude. <laughs> I love this card. Love, love, love this card. This is probably one of my favorite. Shoots up to be one of my favorite cards in in my box collection, um, just because of what it, the significance of of me wanting one of these for so long and finally being able to pick one up. What year is this out of? Oh five. Yeah. So it's been eleven years since this card was released, and now I finally have one. Uh, eleven years down the road. So, and the th and the, I was looking for the three color patch to boot, uh, and with the throwback patch, uh, I love this card. Love, love, love this card. Oh, man, <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. Killing me, killing me, killing me. This was definitely worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait, man. Um, and now we're on to number five. I don't even want to know what's in these last two. But we're going to find out. <laughs> um, God, I just can't get over that Cadillac. No way. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, man. This has been on... I'm going to say this probably with all these cards, but this card's been on my radar for a long time, too. Uh, I think this was actually one of the first... Um, I think this is. The first on-card auto of these three guys all together. And I think they released this... I think this is one of the first releases of the Bucks in their new uniforms and the new rookies. And I've wanted one of these ever since, and I've just never been able to get around to pick one up. Uh, Mike Evans, Austin Safarian Jenkins, and Charles Sims, Pen Pals. I think this is out of Prestige. Could be wrong. Oh, National Treasures. Whoa. I didn't realize that. I thought it was Prestige. Um, yeah, this is, a, and it's graded at a 9 5 10 to even go with that. Um, I mean, I'd have been perfectly happy with the Rob, but he ended up getting this thing in a 9 5. Three fives and a, three nine fives and a 9. Dude. You're f killing me, Smalls. Killing me, killing me, killing me. Can't believe that I have one of these now, too. <laughs> this is unreal. This is a monster, monster stack of awesome PC stuff. God. Now we're on a six. I think my phone cuts off in 15 minutes, so I might have to cut this one a little, a little short. But this is the very last card of what he has sent, I believe. Yeah, there's nothing left in this. I'm completely blown away, man. Completely blown away. What? What? You buy baseball? You buy baseball? Yeah. <sighs> Didn't have any idea that he would ever buy a baseball card. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, he likes the D-backs, but never thought he'd, I'd see the day where he buys me a baseball card. Um, this is Captain America himself. David Wright, I think this is out of Sterling, Sterling, Tribute, Tribute, yeah, Dual Bat, Autograph, BGS 9510, numbered 28 out of 99, and this thing's 95s all around, dude, I can't believe this, you completely blew me away, uh, unbelievable stuff man hooked me up with two pc cards or two box cards that i've always wanted for a long time uh now they're finally in my possession uh, along with a bunch of other crazy ass buck stuff and that david wright so um like i said i think my video is cut off at 15 minutes so dude i'm gonna be hitting you with the text thank you so much uh thanks everyone for watching hope you're doing good
Hope Colorado's treating you well, Nathan. Uh, other than that, see you later, guys. Peace.